Next, let's uh, implement the count method that returns the total number of books in the database. Here, the count method here. And uh, we have to write another name query to uh, return the total number of books in the domain model class book here. The query name is uh, book dot um, count all. The query is select uh, count asterisk. Uh, from uh, book B, okay, very simple. And here and we can uh, delegate the code to a super class. Uh, let's see, we have the method count with name query here, and the query name is uh, book dot count or very simple. Now let's write a test method in the bookdl test class. Here, public void test count uh, total books equal bookdl count. And uh, currently, there are two rows in the database. Two books, so we expect that the total books equals to two. Okay, so we can use the asset equals method expected is two and actual is total books. Now let's run this test method. This, uh, Method cow return a long value. Okay, now let's run test count method here. Run as uh, the unit test. You see the test was successful. Very good, right? And in the console view, you can see Hibnet brings a select cow from statement here. So far, we have done uh, implementing the count method of the book DL class so that we uh, have implemented all the basic uh, methods of the book DL class. Of course, we will update uh, this class later uh, in this course.